Hey, it's Rihanna. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different, as I'm sure you can tell. Um, but basically, I'm going to tweeze my eyebrows. If you watch my vlogs, you know that I get my eyebrows threaded um, every couple of weeks. But I'm about two weeks past when I should have gotten them done. And Jonathan and I are trying to do like a really strict no spend for January. We just wanna see what happens if we don't spend any money that's not necessary for the month of January. And although getting my eyebrows threaded is not very much, it's like $12 um, after a tip or whatever, um, it's still $12. And technically I can tweeze them for free. So I just thought that it would be a fun video for me to do for y'all. I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> um, so first, let's let's take a close up. Before they're definitely past their prime. Super. So basically, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to. Well, actually, I'll just tell you all that whenever whenever we start. So I went around my house and tried to find my best pair of tweezers because that's one of the most important parts when it comes to tweezing your eyebrows. And I found four. <laughs> um, I think these two are my best ones. Um, but I did find these other two, which these are just like generic cheap ones. Um, I think I got these from, I think I got these ones from BoxyCharm or maybe these ones from BoxyCharm. I don't know. It's from what I understand, it's important that the slanted tips close, um, really well so it can really grasp the hair from my understanding. I guess I should like do a disclaimer that I'm not a beauty guru. Um, I honestly don't know what I'm doing when it comes to anything like beauty or fashion related. <laughs> what I'm, my plan is, is um, I'm gonna try to just go, like as y'all can see right here, it is very overgrown and I'm just going to try to go where the line is um, where you can tell I get it threaded at. So I'm just gonna try to go along the line where you can see where the regrowth is. Um, so that's my plan. I was trying to figure out the best way for me to be able to record this and still be able to see myself in the mirror. So hopefully this is a good angle for y'all and for me at the same time. So I've got like uh, my mirror here. I'll make sure if I get real close, you also see what I'm doing. I don't know the best, I really don't know the best way to have y'all, but hopefully this comes out good. So obviously I need to take my glasses off. And let's get going. Ah. So do y'all do like, look at all those, it's like 10 at a time. I don't, I have very, I've never been very good at consistently keeping up with my eyebrows myself. Until here recently, I started getting them threaded and I've been pretty good at keeping up with it mostly. I mean, like obviously this is the worst of, I think this is the longest I've ever gone. But you can definitely like just follow the, the regrowth and just tweeze you just tweeze what's like grown back in you can see it I mean they do a little bit more than just threading um, ah. I can also probably do like a little like a mini story time so I know a lot of people are like oh my gosh threading is the most painful like why do you have them threaded why don't you get them waxed and it's be I will never have anything on my face waxed ever again. Basically since my wedding, I have never gone to have my face waxed um, since then. Look at that, it's already looking better. All right, so let's do the quick little story time and why I don't get my eyebrows waxed anymore. So Jonathan and I got married in December um, 
of 2014. It was 12, 13, 14 is our anniversary. And so I like Googled about when's the best time for you to get your um, face waxed before your wedding. And everyone was saying like three to four days that'll give your skin a chance to like calm down, um, but you won't have a bunch of like regrowth. So I go into this little, um, you know, nail and Ow, that one hurt. So I go into this little like salon that's kind of close to my house that had really good reviews. It was like really fancy. And I tell them, you know, oh, it's my wedding and I want to get my nails and my, I got like, I got a manicure and a pedicure and I want to get my eyebrows waxed. And you know, every time you go, they always ask you if you want to get anything else. So I'm pretty hairy, you know, it's not something that I'm like super self-conscious about, but I am aware that I have like a blonde mustache and, you know, I have sideburns and I've got like little chin hairs and I take care of it. It's not a big deal, but, um, there was a point in my life where I didn't actually do anything about it. So of course they always ask you, you know, oh, you want your mustache? You want your face? And I was like, no, I said no, just my eyebrows. And they're like, okay, lay down. They had me lay down on the little table. And she puts the wax on my eyebrows. And immediately puts the wax on my sideburns. And I was like, I definitely did not say that. Like, but at this point, I already have wax on my face and I'm not gonna say anything. So I didn't. I think that one's done. I feel like I like the way that one looks, so let's move to this one. There was already wax in my face. There wasn't anything that I could do about it at that point because I wasn't going to say anything. Like, I mean, I technically could, I guess. But she ended up waxing my whole face. She waxed down here. She waxed, I think she waxed my mustache. Um, maybe not my mustache, but she definitely waxed all right here and all down here and then my eyebrows. And I remember being so mad. And then on top of that, I had to pay for it. Like, I didn't want my whole face. I said just my eyebrows, but she didn't listen to me. I'm not really sure why it happened, but you know, a couple days later, I broke out really, really bad. All along my chin line right here was just red bumps, super irritated. It looked like I had pimples all over my face. And I was really upset because if you look closely at my wedding pictures, you can actually see um, like the breakout. Okay, hold on for a second. Does anyone else struggle? Like I, I feel like I do my right side really, really well, but I feel like my left side I'm not gonna do as well. Ow. Ow, this one hurts way more than the other one. <laughs> so yeah, I've literally never gone and gotten my eyebrows waxed since then. And I actually didn't do anything to my eyebrows for like three years after that. It wasn't until like this past year that I've even started getting them threaded. So yes, threading hurts really, really bad and probably way worse than waxing, but honestly, I just don't trust the people that do waxings anymore. And I know that I could go to a different place and I could tell them, but honestly, when I get the place that I get my eyebrows threaded at, they are a lot more like... They just, they don't make me feel bad about saying no. They do still ask me if I want my whole face and my mustache and I'm like, nope, just the eyebrows. And I do, just the eyebrows. They wouldn't automatically start threading off my mustache. Honestly though, I don't think they thread uh, anything but the eyebrows. I think they do wax for your mustache.
I don't know if it's gonna focus. That was a big one. Ow. It's crazy how much you can see a difference between your eyebrows whenever you're doing this. Like, this one has a lot more blonde hairs than this one. Uh, because I'm looking at it and I feel like this one's pretty much done. Also, I apologize. I know y'all can hear Jonathan downstairs. Y'all can hear Jonathan and Milo. Okay, I think I'm pretty much happy with how this looks. So what I was saying was this one has more blonde hairs um, and this one has darker hairs. And so like when I'm looking in the mirror, it looks like I still have more I need to tweeze on this side or that I, po I possibly over tweezed on this side. What it actually is, is this side needs to be filled in with like an eyebrow pencil because the hairs are there, they're just blonde, which I think is funny. And also, there's a lot more stray hairs on this side than on this side. Like on this side, there's a bunch of blonde hairs that are up here and a bunch of blonde hairs that are over here. And, um, but not really with this eyebrow. Like, I can see how when I get it threaded or waxed that it cleans it up a little bit better because um, what you can't see from the distance that we are right now, I can see close up that there's a lot more hair right here that I could take off but tweezing all those little tiny baby hairs would be very tedious so my skin is really blotchy right now because obviously i was tweezing my eyebrows and made my nose run and my eyes water but we can y'all see all the like little fine baby hairs around this eyebrow and not around this eyebrow it's funny all right guys i'm done what did y'all think of this video so it's a little bit different I definitely wasn't like teaching y'all anything. The only advice that I have when it comes to tweezing eyebrows is I know that you're, um, you can, you want to keep your natural arch. You only want to take like the strays away from underneath your arch and the strays like from, from above your arch. You don't want to mess with your natural shape of your eyebrows, um, or over tweeze them, which I always feel like if you're going to do it yourself, it's better to take off less and have more bushy eyebrows than take off too many um at least I, like, that's how i feel about it i'd rather have um i'd rather have bushy eyebrows than no eyebrows if you enjoyed this type of video and you would like to see more of these kind of like get ready with me type like if you want to see me do my makeup or jonathan bought me um, a curling one for christmas and i need to learn how to do that so if you want to see me like teaching myself how to do my curling ones. Leave a comment down below, let me know. Subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to click that thumbs up button. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Toothache and we went to the dentist today and they ended up actually extracting two teeth.